Last half hour, we are getting crafty for back to school organization, so let's keep it going. Amy Latta is still here, and now Noah, who we will call our student expert, is also <laughs> ready to help. Before we launch into this, I want to know, what do you think of your new teacher? Oh, she's the best. <laughs> Aww, that's so nice. That's so sweet. So it is different this school year. I mean, you've been home for months and months, and now you're still home. Just let me go somewhere without these awful masks. <laughs> Did they PA? Yeah. At least when you're on the air, you that can take the mask right. off. Um, so we were organizing really for like mom, dad, home teacher in the last half hour. Now we're going to do it for the students. This is a fun way to get organized, but also just, just have some fun with that fresh school year. So walk me through some of the ideas you have. <laughs> so the first thing we did was we decided to make some personalized binders. So Noah and his brother each got a binder for every school subject, and these are some of Noah's. You want to say what you put on yours? Well, one of social studies, I put the globe. Um, I had to go como te llama for Spanish. <laughs> yes, <laughs> como te llama instead of como te llamas. And then uh, I am very good at math, as you may. Right. This um, is why I we're teaching know. math. I, I don't know. <laughs> yes, he thought he'd be funny. With I think that. you're off to a bumpy start this school year. Oh. Yes, in his ELA, he'd rather be at Hogwarts. So to do these, I we just to. use the Cricut and the vinyl again. Um, you could also use stickers. We have, this is his art folder. We're studying Van Gogh this year. And so we got some Van Gogh stickers on Amazon, and he put those on the That's folder. Cool. So and It was like a big pack full of them, and one of them even has Harry Potter on it, so perfect. It does, or alphabet stickers, anything you want, you could um, find ways to personalize the and binders. And I like that, because not everybody has a Cricut. Not everybody knows how to use a Cricut. <laughs> We're um, working on it. <laughs> I was working on it. Um, but to just get stickers, that's a fun way too, because kids love stickers. Yes, yeah. exactly. So you also have some pencil pouches. Yes, so these are really fun. For these, we used the Cricut again, but instead of the vinyl or the iron-on, we used what they call infusible ink transfer sheets. And Amy, over by you, mm -hmm. you'll see all the different colors and patterns that those are available in. You can get all kinds of different things. Um, so you can see mine's kind of marbled, purple and blue, and then Noah's got blues and greens there. And it's um, an ink that when it's heat set goes down into the fabric of the pouch. So these are washable. You can keep your supplies in there. You can even, if your kids are going to school, you could put clean masks in there. Yeah. So anything that you need to hold can go right in these cute little pouches. This is so nice because I think for even children who are going back to school, maybe many of them were not able to do that traditional back to school shopping in the stores where you get to browse and pick something that kind of represents you. So you can do it at home yourself, which I really like. What is this basket of tapes? So this is one of my favorite craft supplies. It's called washi tape and it's just, it's Japanese tape that's decorative and you can get this at any craft store or online and you'll see each one has a different pattern or color and you can apply this to virtually anything. This is an example of a plain, just a mead notebook. It had a turquoise cover and I just took it and I alternated stripes of the washi tape. I used gold and then I used a floral pattern and you can see it just so really cute. adds a pop to it. It makes it personalized. For me, it makes it girly, but you know, boys of like course could use. I know, me <laughs> too. Um, but boys could use any kind of colors or patterns they want. And you can also put washi tape, like these little teeny tiny clothespins we have. These make great magnets or, you know, just ways to hold your papers together. Cute. So you can put the washi tape on there and personalize those. Um, you can put it on your folders, your binders, even your pencils just to give them um, that little touch, like you said, that we weren't able to go yeah. out and buy. Because, I mean, clothespins, they're just clothespins, but now they're like cute clothespins. Exactly. And I want to put, hook my papers together. I know, right? They're so fun. I, I see an, an Amy and Noah line of school supplies coming up soon. <laughs> Wouldn't that I think be fun? you could do that. Well, the first um, part would be Harry Potter Washington. <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> that is necessary. We're a little obsessed. Well, in business just and art class, little. you can start working on all of this. Oh, good plan. <laughs> good to see you both. We'll see you next month.